of the dying process. The process of death is a very, very beautiful experience. People needlessly fear death because they have no idea about it. They think it is something terrifying that they are going to go extinct, vanish, disappear. Nobody ever dies. And the dying process itself is very, very beautiful. And at the end of it, you feel tremendously liberated. You would see your own body there. And for some time, you don't even know you are dead because you can hear voices. That is, you don't physically hear the voices, but you can hear the thought. But it, it will appear as a voice. You could see quite clearly, though the seeing is somewhat different. It is much faster. You could see. It's a kind of rounded vision. So all senses are quite intact. The trouble starts when you try to touch people. You find that your hands are moving into their bodies. That's when doubt could emerge as to whether I am dead. That's why it's so important that these uh, ceremonies are conducted so that it is very convincing to them to understand that yes, indeed I am gone. That's very important. That's why you have to do all those ceremonies. Once that is done, there's, there's anxiety, there's fear, there's a certain amount of sadness. But by and large, soon they would start hearing divine music, very, very beautiful music, which you cannot hear on earth. And you would see a lot of divine beings, especially a lot of people who happen to be your relatives, your friends who had gone away earlier. They would be there. And then you move out on a journey which by our earth time could be about 10 days. And en route you visit several other lokas, what we call lokas. There are about 21 of them. And there you might have to settle accounts with some people. So once that is done, at the end of the 10th day normally, there is a life review. That's why the Hindu ceremonies are so structured that it would coincide with the life review. And what these ceremonies are telling is, you are now going to meet the Lord, you are now going to meet the light, ask him for mukti. Because during the life review, whatever you ask for is granted. That's the secret. That's why people here come for what are called moksha yajnas, where they would ask me in person, and I say yes, and these scenes are replayed to them there, and without forgetting, they would say, now Bhagwan, now, oh great Lord, whatever it is, please give us uh, moksha. And then instantly it is given. But then let us say those thoughts are not there. You would be reviewing your own life in their presence. And you would pass judgment on yourself. Like you have been judging people here. That's why we tell please do not judge. The way you judge others, you would be judging yourself. Generally you tend to be harsh on people. The same harshness you would use on yourself. And then could begin your journey to heaven or to hell. This, in short, is your life. You could go to other locals also.